In previous videos, we have discussed the basic principles of the max input and the linear input. In this video, we are going to discuss more examples of these two inputs. Let's say we would like to perform uh, the calculations of these integrations. And let's start with the max input. And uh, as we discussed before, uh, max inputs use a container system. So if we would like to perform these calculations, then we need to insert the container for the integrations. Um, integrations is here, so integrations. Okay, now this is the container for integrations. And then so the cursor is here, uh, which means we should input the functions that we would like to integrate first. Okay, so let's start with uh, tree and then it's alpha x plus five. Okay, and then we navigate to the second sub containers. We use the right arrow key. Okay, now we are in this sub containers and as we know that this is one, one, and then we use the right arrow key again, then we go to the third sub container, which is three. Okay, and then that's all. Eh? Okay, so equal, and then we got the answer. Okay, now how about the linear input? Okay, so for linear input, it used the sequence system. Now, first of all, we need to tell our calculators that we would like to perform uh, integration. So uh, we tap on this button. Okay, so this is the symbol for integrations. We start with the function first, tree alpha x plus five. And then followed by the two arguments one and three. To separate the function from the arguments, we use comma. So shift comma and then one and shift comma again and then three and then uh, close the brackets. And that's all. Eh? Okay. And equal, then we got the answer. So this is the max input and linear input to perform integration. Let's see another example. Let's say we would like to perform differentiations. Okay, and let's start with the max input first. Um, again, we start with the container shift differentiation. So this is a container for uh, differentiations and the function is three X squared plus five. So three alpha X squared plus five. We would like to differentiate these functions for x equal to 5. So the very next things that we need to do is to navigate the cursors to uh, the next subcontainers. We, so we use the right arrow key to move the cursor to the subcontainers and then key in 5 and equal. So this is the answer. So how about the linear input? Okay. Now the very first thing that we need to do is to tell the calculator that we would like to perform differentiations. That is shift uh, differentiations. Okay. After that, um, we key in the function three alpha x square plus five. Okay. After that, shift comma to separate the function from uh, the argument. Okay. The argument is five. So five and then close bracket uh, equal. Okay, so this is the answer. Let's see another example in this is. So how do we perform this by using the max input and the linear input? Okay, let's start with the max input. Okay, remember for max input, we always start with the container and the container for in this is this one. Okay, so let's start with uh, this one. Okay, so this is a container for uh, index number. Okay, uh, the cursor is in the base now and the base is 1.6 uh, 1.6 and then we move to the next sub container um, Which is the index or the exponent and the index is negative 6. So negative 6 Equal so this is the answer. Okay now for linear input We can straight away start Okay, we, we, because we don't need to insert the containers. Okay, we straight away start with the base 1.6 and then um, to the power of negative 6, close bracket, equal. So this is the answer. Okay, uh, next one, the end root. Okay, 
Now for max input, um, we start with the container and the container for this is shift uh, root. Okay, so this is a container. The cursor is here, okay? And then so this is the fourth root and therefore we start with four and then we use the right arrow key to navigate uh, to another subcontainers and this is 81, 8, 1 and equal. Okay, now for uh, linear input, we need to start with the four first, okay? So four and then sh shift root and then um, 81, close brackets and answer. So we need to remember that um, to calculate the nth root of a number by using the linear input, we need to define the root first. If this is a fourth root, then we start with four and then followed by uh, the root and then the numbers inside the root. So let's see another example. Uh, logarithms, uh, logarithm for max input, um, we start with the container and the container for logarithm is here. So this is the container and then um, the, the cursor is here, okay? And uh, the base of the logarithm is two, so therefore we start with two and then uh, move the cursor to the next container and that is five, okay? And equal, okay? Now for linear input, um, the very first thing is to tell the calculators that we would like to perform uh, logarithms, so logarithms, and then followed by the base, uh, the base is two, two and then uh, shift, comma, and five, and close the brackets. Okay, so that's how we perform uh, logarithms with n base by using uh, linear input. And the last one is the summations. And let's say we would like to perform this calculations um, with max input and linear input. Okay, so um, let's insert the container first. Shift uh, summations. And then we start with, the cursor is here, and therefore we start with the function two alpha x plus one, and then we navigate to the next subcontainers, which is this one. Uh, this is two, and then, okay. And then so these containers, and this is five, okay, equal. So this is answer, and for uh, linear input, uh, we need to tell the calculators that we would like to perform summations and then we start with the functions 2 alpha x plus 1 and then uh, shift comma and the, the two arguments are 2 and 5 so 2 and then shift comma again 5 and then close the containers or uh, and then close the bracket and equal and this is the answer Okay, so for linear input, you need to remember the sequence, which ones that you insert first and which ones you insert later because it uses sequence system to define the numbers and all the functions or the argument. So this is the difference between max input and linear input for the calculations of integrations, differentiations, indices, um, roots, and logarithms and summations.